In these problems, we are calculating the areas of trapezoids. And trapezoids are these four-sided figures that have what they call two bases. There are these parallel sides, and then it has two non-parallel sides. And the, the bases here are different lengths. And in the formula for the area, what you need is to add up the two bases. So base 1 plus base 2. That's the top and bottom side here. And then you multiply that by 1 half, which is the same thing as dividing by 2. And then you also multiply it by the height. And the height is uh, a line that goes from the corner here and meets at a right angle. So you might more normally see a trapezoid like this with a bigger base on the bottom. The height would be something like that, or maybe the height would be over here, and the two bases are the parallel sides. In this case, the two bases are 16 and 24. So let's go ahead and plug those in the formula. 16 plus 24. And the height here is this dashed line. That's 17, so times 17. So when I plug this into my calculator, I'm probably going to punch in 16 plus 24, divide that by 2 after I hit the equal sign, and then multiply that by 17. If you do all that, you should get 340. And then let's just think a minute about units. They told us the dimensions are in millimeters, but this is area, so it's going to be square units or millimeters squared in this case. Let's try one more. This is a trapezoid that looks a little bit odd. It's got one side that's a right angle, uh, both on the top and the bottom. This is still a trapezoid. You notice you have the two parallel bases here of different lengths. In this case, the height is actually the same as the side that has the two right angles. So in our formula, we've got area equals one half of base one plus base two times the height. So we're going to have one half times 17 plus 11 times 11, which is the height. So I would type in 17 plus 11, I'd get 28, I'd divide that by 2, that'd be 14 times 11, that should be 154, the units were inches, this is area, so that's square inches. So that is how to calculate the area of a trapezoid. My name is Larry, I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus, it's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.